Go on, you start. Um, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think, I think the, the, it's such a, an interesting subject to uh, research. Um, uh, researching about the 50s and, and, and Dior, as there's so much you can read and so much you can see and watch. And um, I, I, I don't have a specific technique. I just, I just try to read as much as possible about Dior, the House of Dior. Uh, and and the politic, uh, the fifties and the after-war atmosphere, and and um, and just uh, a lot of pictures, and and that's the extent of uh, of, of of the knowledge I gathered about uh, that time, that that period of time. I had read in college uh, "L'existentialisme et un humanisme" from uh, Sartre, but I, it's you know. I, it, it, you have to read it like a few times before you actually can start caressing the idea of understanding half of it. And uh, not many actors have read that book, I can tell you. <laughs> 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 well, that's, that's that. Um, I, I, I suppose I came to it feeling quite um, equipped because of doing Phantom Thread, which was all about a couture house in the 50s. So I knew a lot about the fashion of that time, and um, and I'd, I'd, I'd previously done a play at the National Theatre that was set in the 50s, so I knew quite a lot about the political climate and cultural climate of that time. And I grew up, you know, I'm a working class girl who grew up in a working class household, so um, all in all, I was, what am I saying here? I'm perfect casting. <laughs> <laughs> The magic comes from how people perceive her, how people see Ada. And I suppose, um, I mean, I never at any point thought, right, I'm going to do this here because it'll be a bit magical and wonderful. I mean, I think it, it does become that because, you know, when you see her walking down the stairs at the end of the film, it's just a wonderful image. And so there's so many ingredients that make that a kind of special moment. But all, all, all I can do in the same way that Lucas does, we're, we're just... We're just trying to make it believable and real because even though um, the film is, um, uh, it is a drama, you know, we're not doing a documentary about that period and it, it, it is, um, for want of clicheing it, it is a kind of charming feel-good film. You know, you, it, it still is only going to work if you make all those scenes as, as believable as possible.